Hi Libra, welcome to your October mid-month love reading. My name is Hannah, welcome to my channel, and thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of your experience today. For your first crowner, you have Forgiving and Learning. And it's clarified by the Fool and the Emperor. So Libra, I really feel like somebody here is trying to conquer their emotions, strong Aries energy, as well as Taurus. Somebody might have some control issues here. Somebody is really trying to control a situation or control their emotions about a situation. I feel like somebody is trying to overcome some negative emotions. Um, and I think that's why the forgiving and learning card is here. Somebody is trying to overcome some negativity and forgive somebody for the past. Somebody's really trying to release the past and let bygones be bygones. Um, but I feel like somebody's really contemplating right now. Somebody's still very much focused on something here. In the heart of your reading, you have Make the Effort. Clarified by the Three of Wands and the King of Cups. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I feel like somebody here is really trying to make the effort to forgive and to overcome a situation. Um, but for some reason, somebody just keeps looking back on the past. I'm sensing that somebody really wants to take a leap of faith with somebody. Somebody really, really wants to start back at zero. Um, but there's just something here that's really, really festered for too long. It's kind of just like sat and festered in somebody's emotions is something that I'm picking up. But somebody here is being extremely loving, Libra, um, especially if you're dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is being very loving, very affectionate, um, lots of passion, lots of physical affection, right? So that's very strong earth sign energy. But it's kind of like somebody needs to take baby steps, baby steps into the situation. I'm just getting a very strong energy of examination this month. Really looking at something, a relationship for what it really is. I feel like somebody's also trying to run from their past is something that I'm picking up as well. Somebody has something that's still haunting them and they're really trying to run from their past. But this past just this past situation, this past energy still has a bite on them. Some of you may literally be trying to run away from an ex um, or a past partner, and this person just will not let you go, Libra. Like I said, somebody here is trying to control the situation, so you could be dealing with a very controlling ex who is trying to uh, keep a bite on you, Libra. I feel like some of you have even found somebody new. And you know, you're trying to grow something with this person, but there's just somebody here who's like, let's just forgive each other and go back to the way that things were, but I don't think you're interested, Libra. I really don't. Nine of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Knight of Wands. And Seven of Wands. Lots of fire energy, really fast movement here, guys. Some of you are in a connection that's either moving very fast or you feel like something's moving very fast. Um, very aggressive energy as well with all of these wands, all of this fire energy. Um, it can indicate a very aggressive energy in your presence, whether that's you or whether that's somebody that you're dealing with. I feel like somebody here is very physically attractive, Libra, but they don't want to accept it. Um, somebody tries to act like they're somebody else, like they put a mask over their face. Um, so maybe this person's very different with you than they are, you know, on social media, or they're very different with you um, and their friends. You know, they're a completely different person. Like somebody puts on a mask to appear a certain way, to maintain, maintain control over a certain image is something that I'm picking up. Um, just lots of control energy. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Strong Taurus energy though, because I do have the Emperor here. But you do have the Four of Wands. So some of you are moving very quickly into a commitment with somebody. I'm hearing tying the knot for some of you. Some of you have really been hurt in the past, um, and it's kind of, this is a leap of faith, right? So some of you have really given up on a situation involving love because of your past. Right? Like some of you have laid this to rest, like you're like, okay, I'm not going to do relationships anymore. I'm going to stay single. I'm not interested in relationships. 
I'm just gonna kind of do me for a little bit and then all of a sudden boom this person comes around um, and you're smitten some of you are smitten by this person and boom you're in a relationship again some of you are definitely getting into a relationship or taking it to the next level in the month of October possibly closer to November it's a great birthday present isn't it a loving connection um, but you do have Knight of Wands and King of Cups some of you could be dealing with an earth or sorry well yes an earth sign but also a fire sign or a water sign Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, strong Aries energy, guys, because I do have the Emperor and the Fool, um, but also a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Somebody is emotionally ready here to make the effort to move forward and grow something in a relationship. I feel like one person is very ready for this, and the other person's like, whoa, 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 wait. I don't know if I'm ready for this, right? They're kind of... Um, blocking off any advancements. Somebody's blocking off any advancements of moving forward because they're still thinking about this. Somebody's really like, I'll wait until the perfect time. Do you know what I mean? Um, somebody really wants to wait until the perfect time to grow something or to start something here with you, Libra, or vice versa. This could be your energy wanting to wait and take things kind of slow. But somebody here really, really wants to move fast. They're making the effort to try and move fast is something that I'm picking up. Like somebody's ready. They're like, look, it's it's now or never. It's now or never. I have emotion for you, you have emotion for me, why don't we just do this? Why don't we just get together? And Libra, you're like, whoa, whoa, wait, I gotta figure some things out first. If you're dealing with an earth sign, I feel like this is the earth sign that's trying to kind of rush things and Libra, you're kind of just like, mm, I don't know. Typical indecisive Libra, huh? I'm a Libra rising, so I totally understand. I feel like some, some of you guys are just really weighing your options right now. Like you're like, okay, this sounds cool, but there's also these options that I can follow, these paths that I can follow. Pay attention to the red flags. Some of you are noticing that somebody's aggression is a red flag. That's kind of what I'm picking up. Like somebody gets really aggressive when they're angry is something that I'm sensing. Yeah, somebody gets really caught up in their emotions and they get super aggressive. And I think Libra, some of you guys are seeing this as a red flag from that person. Or some of you have been in aggressive relationships before, maybe even abusive relationships. And, you know, you're starting to see red flags of the, a similar pattern. Like, Spirit's trying to show you, like, hey, be careful. You're starting to kind of lift that veil and see things for what they really are. Somebody's very controlling here, guys. Maybe even manipulative. Somebody really likes to keep control over something. I'm also hearing that somebody is trying to do away with that aspect of self. That aggressive... Um, manipulative controlling aspect of self but it's really become a crutch like somebody really is used to this energy somebody's really trying to make the effort to change to make changes in themselves I think somebody also has a lot of insecurities here with the seven of wands Somebody's waiting to be more secure or confident in a relationship is something that I'm hearing before moving forward. Like somebody doesn't want to move forward into a relationship with insecurities or with second thoughts. But the general energy this month is really just leaving the past in the past and trying to forgive somebody for something. And even if that means you don't end up with them, Libra, you know, anger is a punishment that we give to ourselves for somebody else's actions. So some of you have hung out in this anger energy for too long. And I think this month, in the month of October, in the next couple of weeks, you are putting an end to that anger. You're saying, you know what? I'm not going to punish myself anymore for something that somebody else did to me. Queen of Swords and Ace of Cups. I feel like some of you are very much emotionally fulfilled this month. Some of you are learning what love is, what true love is. 
If you're dealing with a water sign, I feel like this person teaches you love, teaches you about what love is and what compassion is. Lots of compassionate energy here, Libra. I mean, I got King of Cups, Ace of Cups, and Four of Wands. I feel like some of you are very polar opposites from your partner, like completely different people. One of you is um, very cold and very detached from your emotions, and the other one is very connected to the emotional aspect of self, right? Um, and you know, I think the one who's more emotionally attached and more emotionally connected is the one trying to take things really fast. And I think Libra, you might be the one who's a little more distant and you're kind of like, hmm, I think we should wait a little longer before we get more serious. Like somebody wants to wait to, you know, become serious. Some of you are also dealing with a healer or you could be a healer yourself. I think whoever you're with, Libra, this person heals you from the past. Just a lot of releasing of the past, transmutation of those energies. Some of you are also moving homes. That's another thing that I'm picking up. You could be moving in with a partner or moving in with a new family member or something like that. Now remember guys, this is a relationship reading, a love reading, so this can be any kind of love. Friendship love, family love, coworker love, you know. So take it as it applies, take it as it resonates. But I do sense a lot of growth this month, especially in the realms of the heart and the realms of the emotions. I feel like you're really, really releasing things that don't serve you anymore. And because of that, you're starting to invite in newer and higher vibrational energies. New beginnings, leaps of faith, having faith within yourself and having faith within your partner and in your, your home life, having faith in a situation involving the heart. Just having faith in love again. I think some of you guys really lost that hope, lost that faith in love, and now you're starting to invite it back in because there's somebody here who's really showing you what love is. But that's what I see here, Libra. If you have any questions or if you'd like to book a personal reading, feel free to email me or DM me in my Instagram. And I will see you later. Have a beautiful Halloween. Have a safe Halloween. And have a beautiful rest of your month. Happy birthday to any Libras this month. Bye-bye.